What's up entrepreneurs? Now, starting a side hustle can be one of the most rewarding things you can do, not only because you can make a little bit of extra cash on the side, but also because it can really help fuel your entrepreneurial engine, especially if you've got a job at the same time. Not only that, but some of the side hustles I'm about to show you can and have turned into six figure incomes for entrepreneurs in the past. And I'm hoping after watching this video, you'll be able to do it yourself. Hey, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say a big welcome. I make easy to follow videos on things like starting online businesses, making money online, affiliate marketing, personal finance, and more. My goal on this channel is to help you build multiple streams of passive income, which is something that I've been fortunate enough to do myself. So if you're into any of these topics, please subscribe now. And I'd also love it if you could hit that like button on this video as it really helps out this channel. So let's jump into it now and take a look at some of the best side hustles you can do from the comfort of your very own home. So let's start off with number five, which is selling on Fiverr.com. Now, if you've never heard of Fiverr.com, where have you been hiding? Because it is taking off like wildfire at the moment. So what is Fiverr? Well, originally Fiverr used to be a place where you could go and buy things for $5. You could go and get a logo done for $5. You could get someone to write an essay for you for $5. But the great thing for people like you, for entrepreneurs like you, the great thing is now is that you don't have to restrict yourself to just providing services for $5. Because you're probably saying, Chris, I don't wanna work for $5. I can go and do pizza delivery for $5 an hour and you know, do that. Well, the great thing with Fiverr is that you can actually charge as much as you want. So the way it works with Fiverr is they've got a thing called gigs. So each gig is worth like $5 and say you're really good at creating logos, you can offer it for 10 Fiverr gigs, which is gonna be worth $50. And you, there really is no limit to how much you can offer. I know some people who are offering gigs which are worth $1,000, you know, 200 different gigs, and they're making a lot of money doing some premium kind of work. The great thing with Fiverr is that there are so many things that you can do. If you ever go over to Fiverr, you can go and have a look and see just some of the crazy things people are willing to do and are also making a lot of money doing uh, just through the website. You might think, okay, yeah, I could do some, you know, some normal things, and you really can do normal things. If you're good at doing a logo design, you can do that. Maybe offer it for 20 different gigs, and you make $50 off it, or you make $100 off it. Or you could do some writing. So let's say you're good at writing, you could help someone out with a blog post, maybe it's gonna be 200 words, and you can get done paid for that. But there are some really crazy things that are actually on Fiverr as well. If you ever look up PewDiePie's kind of Fiverr issues he had, you'll see the incredible things people are getting paid to do. But I wanted to show one example for you was this guy who literally dresses up like a clown and he will wish people happy birthday. And it's so stupid. He does it with like a stupid song and he looks like an absolute idiot. But the thing is this guy's making bank. So he's charging around about $50 to do this for each five a gig. And you can imagine he's probably doing, you know, 10 of these a day. He's probably making around about $500 a day just wishing people happy birthday. So if he can do it, you can do it as well. There are so many things uh, that you can do on Fiverr. So coming in at number four is to sell things on places like eBay, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace, which you've found at places like Walmart, Kmart in the clearance section. So the way that this works is it's a huge thing that's kind of popping up these days. A lot of people are kind of catching onto the idea that you can get things really cheap in clearance sections at places like, like I said, Walmart, Kmart, Target, and then you can resell these to other people at a higher price and make a good profit off it. And to me, this is a real side hustle for real entrepreneurs, the ones who like to do the kind of the dirty work and make a good profit flipping items. So the best places to sell your items are generally gonna be on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Now I know I said before eBay, but there are a few caveats with that. The first reason is that eBay takes a lot of fees. So you really have to be cautious about this because it can easily eat into your profit margin. So eBay, for example, charges around about 10% on every item you sell on the total price. So say you sell something for $30, they're gonna take $3 off that. Now that might not seem like a lot, but it does add up. On top of that, you're also gonna be probably paying through PayPal and PayPal take around about 3% as well. So you're gonna be having 13% off your total margin already, which is not so good. Instead, what I would recommend is selling on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. The reason for this is that it's generally gonna be a in-person sale. You're gonna be selling, they, they might come to your home or you go to like a gas station or something and uh, sell it there. Then it's gonna be a cash payment or you're gonna use something like Venmo or the Cash App. 
So that's probably gonna be a better option because you're really gonna be able to increase your profits and save more money. For me, the best place to actually source the items, like I said before, is at places like Walmart and Target. I've generally found that Walmart is the one that has the better kind of clearance items. You can often get items that are worth, you know, 25, 35, $40 for around about $3. And this is because they're doing stock take. They're trying to get rid of their, their stuff. They're clearing it out so they can bring in new stuff or they ordered too much of it and they didn't end up selling it. So what you really wanna do is go and look for all of the items that look like they're worth a little bit more, make sure that they're nice and cheap, and a real good tip is to actually get the Walmart app because the Walmart app, if you scan the barcode, you can actually get much better prices than what's actually on the sticker. Sometimes the sticker might say it's worth $5 when in actual fact, it's, they're giving it away for like $1. So always get the Walmart app. Now, one other place that you can do this is also at places like Goodwill and other charity shops. And I'm kind of in two minds with this, but generally I think it's a good idea to do this because the way that it works with Goodwill and charity shops is that you're helping them out. So people are coming in and donating these uh, these items that they don't need anymore. And then when you buy these items from Goodwill, you're supporting them, they get to keep the money, everyone wins because you're also gonna be able to profit on these items and continue to you know help them out and buy more items as you get more successful. Next up is to drive on Uber. Now this is a classic one and it's only gonna work if you've got a car, but if you've got a car and you don't have anything else to do, this is a great side hustle you can do when you've got a little bit of free time. And it's actually a really good time to be doing this because of all of the issues that are going on in the world. I don't think I need to say anything about that, but the reason is because people aren't actually going out and doing it. So the competition is so much less, so you can make a whole lot more money. Of course, I'd highly recommend being really you know, careful, wear a mask if you have to do that in your country, You know, be have good social distancing between people. But like I said before, because a lot of people are kind of afraid of the whole thing that's going on at the moment, if you can go out and do it, you're gonna have a lot less competition, so you can make a whole lot more money. I'd really recommend when you're doing anything with uh, Uber is to really up your game as much as you can so you can get those good ratings and reviews because that's what really uh, means the people who earn a lot more money, they always have good ratings. So make sure that you're offering free water bottles. Uh, you know, you can get bottled water for like 20 cents or something like that. You can also offer things like Mentos and mints and candy and things like that. Give that away for free, up the service, become a better entrepreneur, and that way you're gonna be able to get more clients and then make more money with Uber. So coming in at number two is to become a virtual assistant. And I absolutely love this one because pretty much everyone can do this. You know, you don't have to have a car, you don't have to uh, have any kind of skill really. You can just help people out doing whatever they need to do. So I actually have a virtual assistant. Hopefully she's watching. Hey, Lena, nice to see you. Lena has been really helping me out with my videos, helping me with research, helping me with my emails and calendars and things like that. And that's essentially what you would do as a virtual assistant. What we do is we jump onto a Zoom call or you could do a Skype call, a FaceTime call. And then we use things like Google Docs and you know Google Sheets and you can just use Excel and things like that. And you know you work together just virtually, there's no real difference to working in an office as to working on a computer. This is a really great side hustle if you're kind of tired at home, maybe you've got a baby, maybe you've got um, different reasons as to why you can't actually work, or you can even do virtual assisting after your job especially if you're in a country different to the country that the person's in. So say someone's in England and then you're in America and you need you can work after your job, that'll be like morning time for them. So it works really well. And the thing is, a lot of work is moving online. It's totally normal now for everyone to expect that uh, working is online. Everyone's kind of accustomed to using Microsoft Teams. Everyone's accustomed to using Zoom calls. You can totally do it. Not only that, but you can make plenty of money being a virtual assistant. Uh, I pay my virtual assistant around about $30 an hour to help me out, like I said, with just you know basic, basic things like emails and calendars and stuff like that. But I've got a little tip for you. If you can learn how to do a little bit of basic bookkeeping, which is essentially helping people kind of file their expenses and income uh, for their business, you will get paid a whole lot more. Also, if you know how to write relatively well, that'll also help. And if you know how to do social media relatively well, you can really increase the amount of money that you're gonna be getting paid. So rather than getting paid $15 an hour as a virtual assistant, you can get paid those high numbers, $25 an hour, $30 an hour, all from the comfort of your home. 
All right, I've got a bonus one coming up, which I think is really good. But coming in at number one, before we get into the bonus, is food delivery. And another one of these ones, which you're probably thinking, yeah, I know that's a side hustle, but definitely, I definitely think at the moment that this is one that you should give a go. The great thing with this is that you don't need a car. You can use a bike, you can even use a scooter. Uh, and especially in these times, again, with coronavirus, uh, you know, being pretty big and in the winter, no one wants to do it. So there's so much work available. And if you can get the work available and you can get the work done, you can make a whole lot of money. And it's really funny though, because you would think that in these times, people would be jumping onto these services, but the truth is they're not really jumping into these services. So there is a lot less competition than before. And it's not as if you're gonna be having any kind of issues because these days, pretty much every company is kind of encouraging the whole, uh, you know, ring the doorbell and leave. You don't have to have the face-to-face -face communication. So you're not gonna have any issues. So if you've got a bike, if you like to walk, if you have a scooter or something or electric scooter, I'd highly recommend doing food delivery as a good side hustle. So for those of you who've stuck around, you get the bonus one, which I think is actually probably one of the best. And it's actually managing social media for small businesses. So if you know anyone who owns, so most of us know someone who owns a small business. And if you don't know anyone who owns a small business, I'm sure that there's plenty of small businesses in your local town or on the street nearby you. And a lot of them are really craving uh, to get online, but they don't know how to do it. And the reason for this is because a lot of them are older. You know, most small business owners are, you know, in their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, or even in their 70s, and they have no idea how to use social media, but they know and they keep on hearing that they need to get onto social media. So if you know how to use TikTok, you know how to use Instagram, you know how to use YouTube, you can go to them and say, look, I'll update your business TikTok, I'll update your business YouTube, Instagram, Facebook page, and I'll do it for a monthly fee. Let's say $300 a month, $500 a month. They've got this disposable income, which they can you know, write off as a tax expense, and you can do their social media for them. And what I would recommend is trying to get a few different accounts. So like I said before, you could maybe make $300 a month from one business and then you get another one coming in. So let's say you've got three different businesses who you're doing your social media, that's $900, $900 extra a month that you're making and it's recurring revenue. So you're gonna be having this recurring in income. All you're doing is literally posting a few pictures on Instagram, maybe helping them make a few videos on YouTube. It's totally up to you. So there you go, guys. They were some of my favorite side hustles you can do from the comfort of your own home. Make sure to get your comment in for the question of the day. I wanna hear about what your favorite side hustles are. And also make sure to smash the like button because that's always appreciated here on this channel. Good luck everyone and I'll see you next time.